Good evening, friends, family, faculty members, Bishop Kinneman, Superintendent Broadus, Father Adam and our priests, and my fellow graduates. I've anticipated this day for the past 15 years. I remember when this day felt like a lifetime away. My fellow classmates and I would line the halls of our elementary school and watch as the big kids paraded down the halls in their cap and gowns. I remember watching on thinking to myself, that's going to be us one day. Well, guess what? It's us. Today is the day we are graduating. Despite all obstacles, we have made it to one of the most significant milestones in our lives. But none of this could have been possible without the unwavering support we have had along our journey. To our faculty members, thank you for your dedication to this school and its individuals. When asked what makes our school so special, my answer is always you. Your devotion to its students and your dedication to ensuring we have a strong, faithful nation has helped us get here. And for that, I am extremely grateful. To my family and the families of my fellow graduates, thank you for sacrificing so much in order for us to be here. You were the ones who instilled in us a strong foundation so that we may thrive in everything that we do. It is hard to believe that the day we step into the real world has finally arrived. I have grown up with most of you, and when I look at you all, I don't just see my fellow classmates. I see my brothers and sisters. We have been with each other through the good, the ugly, and everything in between. Today not only marks the end of life as we know it, but also the beginning of the lives we will make for ourselves. When thinking about what I wanted to say to you in this speech, one song came to mind. As I've grown up with most of you, you know that I used to be an avid Hannah Montana fan. In fact, I'm sure some of you may have witnessed me in a blonde wig with a microphone in hand when we were younger, but that's besides the point. As we embark on our journey of life, I pray that each and every one of you apply these lyrics to your lives. There's always going to be another mountain. I'm always going to want to make it move. There's always going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm going to have to lose. It's not about how fast I get there, not about how hard I try. It's the climb. As most of you know, I have a tendency to expect perfection in everything that I do. While this has allowed me to achieve many of my goals throughout my life, it has also caused me to stress about things I cannot control, like for instance, writing this speech. Throughout my time here at this school, I have been taught a lot of things. But the lesson that has stuck with, you, stuck with me the most is that failure is unavoidable. No matter how hard we try or how much time we dedicate, at some point or another, we will fail. Now, it has taken me much time to realize that this is not a bad thing. In fact, it is something we should welcome. Without failure, we will never be able to reach our fullest potential. And so, as we continue on this journey, I pray that you will not be afraid of failure, but instead embrace it, because it is only going to make us stronger. Another thing that I have come to realize during my 15 years here at this school is that God knows what we can and cannot handle. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 states, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. As we embark on this journey of life, there will be times when the mountain in our lives seem too big. It is during those times, I pray, that the faith you've expressed throughout the past 15 years will remain strong. Because God has a plan for each and every one of you. And while the mountain may be too big for you, no mountain is too big for him. Finally, I encourage each and every one of you to enjoy the climb. Yes, we will fail in life. And yes, there will be mountains we cannot move. But that is what makes life so beautiful. If there was no bad in the world, the good would seem boring and dull. These next few years are going to be the most fun years of our lives. And instead of focusing on what's next in our journey, we need to instead live in the moment and appreciate what we are doing right now. There's no doubt in my mind that each and every one of you will go out and do amazing things in this world. But never forget the life lessons you learned at our small little Catholic school in Pascagoula and the friends you consider family. I pray that as you continue on your journey, you welcome failure, let God do the mountain moving, and enjoy the climb. And most importantly, 
I pray that you continue to be a warrior for God's kingdom and a light into his world. Thank you.